What's up, Chaos Nation? Big Rob here, coming to you from the Valley of the Night. We're in a balmy 93 degrees. That's right, we're still warm. Uh, we don't cool down that fast out here, but uh, we're upright. Happy to be here and honored to bring you this video. Um, topic of discussion, Sam Sulik leaving Hostile Subs and Faoud's company for greener pastures. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? Um, now many of you know, I've you know made videos about Sam in the past um, and uh, his relationship with Hostile Subs. Um, I told you clearly many, many moons ago that this day would come, that he would break free and go off out and do something else, something else. Um, it was a one-year contract. I, I didn't know that. Um, I thought it would be a little longer because he's a young, younger gentleman. Um, but kudos to him. Um, he, 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 you know, is on to bigger and better things. And it happens in this industry. So, um, you know, the only thought process behind it is, is, um, you know, I wish him well. And I hope that he makes a very um, smart decision and takes his time. Um, and he's got a couple ways of going about it. Uh, partnering with an older supplement company um, that has a big platform that can help him evolve and uh, carry each of them into the next uh, realm, into the next episode. Or um, he partners with a smaller company and brings them to light, not only uh, with his name, but you know, sharing his following with them as well. So he can kind of go both ways with it, or he can just go off and do his own thing. Um, I just don't think longevity that's going to be well for him, uh, because as you may or may not know, and I might take some heat for this, but it's okay. Uh, Sam has a lot of bought and paid followers. He has a decent following in regards and respects to you know people that follow him to watch him on. TikTok, YouTube, wherever it might be. Um, but I think over the past few months, he's become less and less of a fitness star. And um, it, it, that's just my vantage point. I haven't really heard too much uh, about him or, you know, any, any hoopla. And really, this is a time for him to shine. So if there was ever a time for him to be talked about a lot, um, uh, now would be the time. So... You never know, though. He, he might be doing some of those things behind the scenes, going on different podcasts, um, getting seen in different ways. For all intents and purposes, Faoud kind of did keep him in the cage, and he was regulated as to what he could say and do. So you never know. Uh, now that he's free, uh, as you would say, uh, you never know. I mean, he might go, like I said, one or two or three ways and uh, figure it out for himself. Um, I, I, like I said, I just don't think... At his age and the time and tenure that he's had would be a smart idea to do his own thing, uh, maybe temporarily until he figures things out, but definitely partnering with a bigger company or, like I said, a smaller one uh, that can kind of propel each of them into the future is going to be the best possible scenario, just my opinion. Um, I did watch John Bravo's video, and it prompted me to make this video. Um, what I will say is, yeah, while Faoud did put some restrictions on Sam, uh, he may have also looked out for him as well um, because in this industry, people do move around, and rightfully so. You know, you're looking for the best possible scenario. You're looking for the best possible contract or whatever it might be. But I'm, I'm just here to tell you, those big contracts are few and far in between. you got to be, you know... I, I see a lot of people want to be influencers or, you know, they, they want to, what do they call those? Um, uh, what do they call those people? They do content creators. Well, if you're going to be that type of person, it's got to be all the time. It's got to be second nature, your job, your business, posting all the time, keeping up with it. And if not, um, you know, a company has to look at the bottom line and say, you know, what are you bringing to the table? So I don't know if Sam is really you know, had his time and tenure to get to that point, but hey, who knows? It's an upside down world, so anything is possible. Good luck to the young man and greener pastures, you know what I'm saying? So, um, kind of is what it is. 
Never know. He might even take a look at Chaos Nutrition. Who knows? Doubt it, but long shot, whatever it might be. Sam, if you're listening, uh, the offer is always open to you, brother. So if not, Greener Pastures, good luck to you and onwards and upwards, right? Um, and like I said, you know, athletes do. They move along, older, younger, everywhere in between, male, female, you name it. Uh, it, it it's just that way. Uh, everyone's looking for a better opportunity. And like I said, rightfully so. You know, people have that opportunity and that right to move around. Um, you just don't want to put yourself in a situation. I'm sorry, this road right here is a little loud. You don't want to put yourself in a situation where you look like, you know, you're getting sponsorships as if you're a NASCAR um, you know, you don't want to be running around the muck, in my opinion. Um, it's nice to stay with a company for quite some time, rep them, um, that sort of thing. But, you know, people got to move around. That's what they're going to do. That's what happens. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, man. And as far as we're concerned, uh, here at Chaos, we just signed um, two new athletes in the past two weeks. Uh, one was Gwen this past uh, Friday was Melinda coming out of El Paso, Texas, and uh, you know, she's real, she's raw, and that's what we like about her is that, you know, she'll clearly tell you, you know, she's a mom, uh, she's been divorced, um, and she's still in the gym, she fights things that we all fight, you know, imperfections, and she's real about it, and I can appreciate that, um, because there's a lot of people out there just like us that are just out there making it happen. And uh, it's motivation for them to see someone like Melinda and go, damn, you know, I could do that too. Let, let me try my hand at it. And uh, it inspires the next generation. It inspires the next group of people to step up and do good. And I'll tell you, I'm, I'm a number one supporter of that because uh, I'll tell you what, when someone like Melinda steps on the scene and puts you on their page, uh, wants to be a part of something, uh, those people shine through and uh, that's what you have to do when it comes to sponsorships It's not all about you know Getting that ultimate package. It's not all about you know every month getting me 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 um, It's really about how you're seeing these people on display and and if you want to take a lesson I got a I got a few of them on, my, on the team that you can learn by um, you know not many are going to be out there like Sam Sulek with a, a following like he has and, you know, the places he's gone and done in a short period of time. A lot of people have to work really hard at what they're doing to, you know, plow the field to get to where they need to be. So, you know, like I said, be humble, be appreciative, pay your dues, understand nothing comes easy in this life. If it does, you better question it. Um, and that, that's my humblest opinion. So... If you're out here looking for a big payday, you haven't paid your dues. If you're out here looking for a huge sponsorship, and you know that uh, you haven't put the time in, you're only you're only really bullshitting yourself. Um, because us as owners, we look back, we see we see the writing on the wall. We know what some people are about. Sometimes we take chances on them. Other times we're like, nah, we already see the disaster coming, and uh, take that elsewhere and waste someone else's time. But like I said, I'm here to tell you, uh, when you stay hungry, you work hard, and you make it more about your, your supporters and where you're trying to go rather than that quick burst of uh, stardom, I'm telling you, you're going to go a long way. Um, and it'll come to you if it's, if it's meant for you, it's going to come to you. And if it's not, it is what it is. Um, but like I said, you can always strive to be better, do better, and... Uh, be real, be raw, and uh, think good things will come your way. You know, other people will notice it, other companies will, and I'm all for it. You know, that's one thing with me in Chaos Nutrition. Athletes want to move on and move up and, you know, get a bigger, better sponsorship. More power to you. Just don't be a jerk. Don't leave your old place a mess. Uh, be thankful where you came from. And I'll guarantee you down the road, that pays dividends because, you know, it, people notice it, people see it. And it goes a long way. So, you know, as you're on the journey and you see the guys like Sam Sulik and you're like, why not me? It's just not your time. It's not in the cards yet. It may never be, but it's okay. You find your own way and do your own thing. 
And I'll tell you, uh, what's meant for you is going to come. Like I said earlier, what's not is not. So take it in stride. Work hard. Brush off the bullshit. Keep it moving. Keep doing a great job. And uh, eventually, you'll, you'll be seen. And if, you, if you're not, uh, then it just wasn't for you. But that's okay. Put your best foot forward. Like I said, keep it moving. Keep doing the right thing. Good things come to those who work their ass off. That's my opinion. So on that note, guys, almost on my uh, home here, almost home uh, from a long day at the office, getting a lot of work done. I uh, hope you're out there staying ride or die for yours. And uh, hey, until next time, guys, hit up the website, chaosnutrition.com, YouTube 20 saves you 20% all day, every day. Until next time, guys, I'm Big Rob. I'm out.